I, I've, I've applied for, for jobs in Fiji and, and in Canada, as has as, you know, previously been reported, um, simply because you know I've, I'm looking for a, another job. I have a family to support, and I, you know I need to move on with life. Um, we're hoping to well. Disappointingly, we're going to have to leave beautiful Samoa next next week. Uh, we're just today's the day when we're trying to get our flight sorted, and I have to go down to the MPF and, and try and sort out all those technicalities. Um, so we we're, we're looking to, to leave next week. Um, haven't had anything confirmed job-wise. Um, the players asked me when we we, we had a, a little get together during the week what I was doing next, and I told them that you know that Canada and Fiji were were, were, were jobs that I was. You know, I was applying for. Um, unfortunately, I can't comment on the situation with the Samoan Rugby Union um, because it's a legal matter. I, I, you know, I would love to to tell you what my thoughts were and, and, and where you know where I stand. And I'm hoping that when this gets sorted out, you know, everything will come out because you know it's been frustrating listening to what's been said uh, by by members of the board. Um, I can I can confirm that. To this day, no one from Small Rugby Union has ever told me why I was. Mm. I've not been officially told why I was um, dismissed. They just rang me and said they're going to re-advertise my job. No one said. I asked why, and they said, "Oh, we'll, we'll ask for the board to let you know." And no one has still. No one has you know has come forward and told me told me why, which is disappointing. Um, so you know that's where I am at the moment. I think uh, that they've already decided on a new coach. I, I believe they're making an appointment out there this week. Um, so I don't think you know. I don't think I figure in their plans at all. Um, and I, I, you know, I said to you earlier, I'm disappointed because I, I mean I love Samoa and I love the people. And, and you know, people such as yourselves have been so supportive. And I know it's a rugby mad country and everybody wants success, but people can see the bigger picture and, and you know, just like. Every summer, I want I wanted you know the success to to put a smile on, on the, the country's face, and I think this group of players that they're there are, are, are building blocks for something that could be done in the future. And you know I, I'm disappointed that I'm not going to be there to be part of that. that but I hope and I, and I pray you know. And I, I mean God always has a plan, and I think uh, you know if He's got a good plan that it's going to allow the next person to take it forward, then so be it. Well, I have a I have a family, you know, a big family. I, you know, um, it's almost like a small family. You know, I have lots of brothers and sisters and, and, and aunts and uncles. I've left all the family home. I have three children who, who we've left in England. Uh, you know, grown up now, but you know, we come away from that. My wife gave up a very a very good job um, with you know Virgin Air. They have a Virgin in England. They run the trains, Virgin Trains. So my wife worked uh, you know as a as a senior manager for Virgin. She gave that up. I like, you know, you, you come away from home and you, you, you sacrifice all the things that you used to, you know, home life and, and family to, to come and do that. But it was a sacrifice worth giving as, you know, as far as I was concerned. I, the one thing that both my wife and I are, are adamant about is that we wouldn't have swapped the opportunity to come here and the, and the year we've had here for, for anything. It's been, it's been a fantastic experience. And, you know, people talk about Samoa as being paradise, and it, it truly is a, a beautiful place. I can't think of a better place on earth to live, and I can see why so many Samoans leave but come home to, you know, to, to live their lives out here. And, and everybody, every person has been so friendly and helpful. And wherever I go, you know, are always you know saying nice things. And I wouldn't have, I guess, I wouldn't have swapped the opportunity to be here for anything. I think just working with players who want to learn has been a massive highlight. Uh, the players sacrifice so much to be part of, uh, of rugby in Samoa. Um, to, to work with, with, with boys with a, who just want to get better and, and, and are doing it for the love of the game and for the love of their country as opposed to how much money they're being paid, which is, uh, which is an unfortunate part of the rest of the world, you know, where, where money plays a, a big part in what goes on. It, it, I hope, I, I do truly hope that we get a chance to come back one day because um, you know, it's, a, it's the top of my list of places to, to be, so I would love to come back at some stage, yeah. Well, I'm so, I'm, I'm humbled by everybody's support, it's a, it's a very humbling experience this and um, I, I, I so, I'm so proud of, of, of what we've achieved and, and I'm, I'm proud that everybody feels we've done 
a great job. I know pride's a sin, but but for once, I just think you know it, it's people have recognised how hard the players have worked, and I, I can't thank them enough. I, I was going to put a message on Facebook, you know, before I left to say you know to try and put into words what I was feeling, and I don't think it could do justice. Um, I, you know, and, and love's a big word, but I do I love someone. I love someone's, and I, I'm so thankful for everybody's support. And um, I wish I could I could express it in a way that that put it across how I really feel. Oh, no. I just, you know, I wish I could stay, but you know, I'll take great memories and I'll never forget you know, my time here.